Why? To Khilafa. And then a new, very strange creature came into being. Never saw him before. First time in my life I'm seeing him. Something called Muslim nationalism. Huh? Never heard of it before. You know, you have German nationalism. Huh? You have British nationalism. You have Russian nationalism. Kaumia. But you don't want to use the word Pakistani nationalism. So you say we are create, creating this new state on the basis of something called Muslim nationalism. What rubbish! Never heard more rubbish than this. Nationalism is Kaumia. Did they never read the Quran, those who talk about Muslim nationalism? which was a stepping stone to Pakistani nationalism and then to Bangladeshi nationalism, Bangla nationalism and then to Indian nationalism Ba'da'uzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim Ya ayyuhal nas O mankind Inna khalaqnakum min zakarin wa untha We created you from a single male and a single female وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا And then we cause you to emerge as nations and tribes. Yes! Allah recognizes in the Quran the existence of nations and tribes. But then he goes on to say لِتَعَرَفُ That your recognition of your, your diversity as nations and tribes should be a source and a, a, should function positively something by which you can identify yourselves but not that Kaumiya should cause one person to consider himself superior to another that's a disease Allah goes on to say inna akramakum indallahi adkaakum so yes we want you to preserve your tribal identity we want you to preserve your identity as a nation but not to use that as the foundation for a political system that's wrong because that is superiority and inferiority and so nationalism as a political system is not a part of Islam. And that's what they did. They created Muslim nationalism. And so when Pakistan came into being, guess what happened? When Pakistan came into being, they got, Pakistan, they got Punjabi nationalism on their backs. And then they got Balochi nationalism on their backs. And then they got Sindhi nationalism on their backs. Huh? And then they got Pak Pak Pakhtunistan, Pakhtun nationalism on their backs. And the people who migrated from India to Pakistan, then they got Muhajir nationalism on their backs. So Pakistan broke up into so many different nationalisms. And then you had the rivalry between Pakistan nationalism on this side and Bang Bangla nationalism on that side, leading to the birth of Bangladesh. Hmm? And so, if there is a future for Islam in that part of the world, it will be a future only for those, only for those, not for the part-time Muslims, and most certainly not for the politicians. If there is a future for Islam in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Kashmir, it will be a future only for those who can make tawbah and step away from the modern secular state and step away from its shirk and its nationalism and return to the struggle for khilafah and return to the struggle for Darul Islam.